Hello, Russell Malika with Titan Machinery. Going through the basic setup of a monitor and we're going to check our versions of software and we're going to see what kind of version is on this display. Pushing back will get us to uh, our diagnostic screen to check our versions of software that is on our display. Uh, the very first tab is the versions and we are actually what is on the display is on that tab and we want to look at each one of these and make sure that they are all up to version 31. Um, if you don't know the what version is the latest version you want to contact your dealer, uh, local dealer and find out what version uh, you do need to have on your display. Uh, going back now and now we're going to go into the full setup of our wizard and going we're going to select full setup follow through each step as we go through Pushing next, and then it asks the total number of row units on this planner, which you're going to have 36 row planner here. Uh, do you intend to use GPS? Yes or no. Uh, this has GPS. Yes. Do you intend to use AFS AccuControl? No, because this is done within the Precision uh, 2020 monitor. Uh, prescriptions are also as well done in the 2020 monitor. Uh, as applied will be done as well in the uh, 2020 monitor. Uh, fertilizer is controlled as well from the 2020 monitor. Uh, operator setup, yeah, this is basically your basic setups for the operator. My name is in there. And units will be USA. Crop type, uh, this here will be actually set up inside your Precision 2020 planner to plant with the precision meters that are on this planner. Uh, grower, we'll label this and we'll can go through all of this. Uh, grower is Russ, which, and then our farm, which I select Russ 2. And we're going to do the east quarter in corn. And uh, our GPS location, uh, this should all be edited in there unless you actually change the location on the tractor. These are not changeable. These are all factory set, integrated into the monitor and in the software. You cannot change. Nothing here can be changed except your height offset unless you change wheel size. If this was a wheel tractor, you change different wheels, you would want to make sure you check and check your height offset. Uh, GPS just tells us what our status is. Uh, this would be all populated if we were sitting outside. And our correction type, if we had RTK and when we were planting corn, we would want to change it. Right now we only have WAS or, or anything that has to do with Omnistar, uh, HP, XP. Uh, GPS alarm, we leave that set to no. Uh, implement setup, it gives our sections. Uh, this is a four section, so each section is going to have nine rows in it and uh, obviously totaling to 36 rows. Our row width is 22 inches. This is a 2160, uh, which is a 22 inch planner. Our bar distance, which is really important as far as the distance from the front axle to the row units uh, where the seed does drop down. We want to measure that distance and enter it in here. Uh, that has to do with start stop latency on your corn planter. Uh, Things that are on the planner, which this planner does not have markers. Um, it does have liquid control, but this liquid control is controlled by the 2020 monitor. We don't have granular chemicals, so we don't need that set. Uh, bulk fill lights, this does have bulk fill lights. Um, downforce control is hydraulic. Uh, we do not have wing downforce. Uh, we have a steering option on here. Uh, we can steer the rear axle and it is a track. So if this had wheels on it, we would change it to no to have if it had wheels. Uh, we have row cleaners and closers. Uh, so that's for our pneumatic downforce and uh, our, our row cleaners for air operated. Uh, work condition, we're setting this to corn 2021 because that's what we're going to be planting so we can further find our information on our screen. Um, our seed cal value, these will be set inside of our 2020 monitor, which because we are using a precision plant. Our bulk fill rate, which is part of the planner, uh, we're going to want our bulk fill rate set at 3000 RPM, uh, which is what it is set and what the spec is for 
corn. Vacuum rate, uh, we want to set this because we want a 20 inches of vacuum, which is needed for to hold corn onto the seed disk. Uh, intentional, overla uh, in intentional overlap, uh, we're not going to be intending on overlapping any rows. And here's our downforce control. Uh, we can either set it light, heavy, standard, or custom. Row cleaner mode is in lift mode and full lift, and we can change that from full lift to lift, down, or float. And closer pressure, you can change any number however you want, uh, depending on how your seed is being covered. You always want to go back and double check how your seed's being covered and make sure it's not cutting into the ground too much. Uh, using planter speed, uh, we're not using, we're going to be using GPS speed. Uh, frame cal, uh, the, these are when you're going to do your frame cal, your raise, your start stop plants. Uh, most of that should be set up inside your 2020 monitor. And your steering cal will be your steerable axle, which you'll actually set that up and so it uh, steers when you want to steer. And that is our full setup of setting up a 2160 planner.